Hello, today we're going to work on lesson 14 and we're going to first like get pennies, nickels, and dimes. So if you, there is a chart over here. So penny is one cent, nickel is five cents, and one dime equals ten cents. So let's look at number one. So this one is a dime, if you look at the chart, this is also a dime, so which would be 10, 10, 10 plus 10 plus, this is 5, right, because it's a nickel, so this is a nickel too, so it's plus 5, and this is also a nickel, so plus 5. And then if you look at the chart, this is a penny, so plus one. So now we have to all add. What's 10 plus 10? 20. 20 plus 5 is 25. 25 plus 5 is 30. 30 plus 5 is 35. And 35 plus 1 is 36. So it should be 36 cents. So uh, let's move on to the next page. So it's basically the same thing for this page. So let's try number three. So this is a dime. This is a dime. And this is also a dime. This one is a penny, which is one. And then a penny, which is one. And then a penny, which is one. We just have to add all of them. It's pretty simple. And so 10 plus 10 plus 10 is 30 because there are three tens. So 30 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. It should be 33 cents. So 33 cents is the answer. And then... Let's look at number four. So for number four, you have five plus five nickel, nickel, which is five, right? That's five. This is also nickel, five, and then plus one, because penny is one cent. So now we have to add 5 plus 5, this is 10, 15, 20, 25, and 26. So it should be 20, uh, 6 cents for number 4. So yeah, 26 cents should be the answer for number 4, and then... Uh, rest of them you can try it for this uh, two pages and then let's move on to the next page So for this page we have ordering time review So we have to put an order from shortest shortest to longest so for example, we have 25 months and when you're 53 weeks. We already did this last time, so you probably know it. But just in case, we can review it again. So 25 months, one year, and 53 weeks. If you have this, one year is the least. And then it should be 20, 53 weeks, and then 25 months. Because... 53 weeks is somewhere between 1 year and 25 months so it should be in the middle and then 25 months is much more than a, uh, not much more but still uh, it is pretty much more than 1 year because 24 months is going to be 2 years yeah so 25 months would be the longest so it should be one year 53 weeks then 25 months then let's try number one 
So we have 57 weeks, 11 months, and one year. Okay. So. Originally, there's. Uh, so this is a little bit more than a year because it's originally two weeks. So it's more than one year. It's greater one year greater than one year and then it says 11 months which is less than an year and then one year is just one year it equals to one year so uh, if you put that in shortest to longest then it should be it should be I'm oh, sorry, I made a mistake here. So this is less than one year. So it should be 11 months. Then one year. Then lastly, 57 weeks. So that should be the answer for number one. Then let's look at number four. For number four, we have five weeks, two months, and 85 days. So there is seven. There is seven uh, days in a week. So of the if we multiply seven and five, it should be thirty-five. This would be the same thing as thirty-five days, and then this is eighty-five days. So thirty-five days is less than eighty-five days, and then we have two months. So for each month, there is around. 30 days, right? So, which means if you have two months, we're going to have around 60 days. So, this one is the least one because 35 is less than 60. So, it should be 30. Uh, so, it should be five weeks and then two uh, and then two months. And then lastly, 85 days should be the last. Okay. Thank you.